This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. We've just turned up in the yard on a Thursday. I have not been at work since Friday. I will get to that in a minute. Uh, we're just grabbing our stuff out the car and then we can uh, walk to the truck. Right, we've got my stuff. Yes, no, um, unfortunately we had a little bit of an injury, but not quite 100% yet either. I um, was taking my dog for a walk on Saturday in the dark at night, sort of round about, I think it was about half past four, five o'clock. So it was dark out and uh, went under a, went, went the usual route that I take, uh, went under a bridge. It's an uneven path. Where are my work, work, uh, where are my work boots? And um, yeah, my ankle just went, completely went, fell on the floor, fell down like a sack of spuds. And uh, a few people come over to me as well to make sure I was okay. Um, Cause it made, it made a massive bang, as you can imagine, being a big boy like myself. And um, so yeah, sprained my ankle, went to hospital, Mon uh, sorry, Sunday. They recommended that I uh, lift it up, rest it, put ice on it four times a day for five days and uh, here I am now walking into work so yeah I'm not 100% it does hurt still I'm sort of having to walk with my heel on the floor because when I lift it up it hurts not sure how it's going to feel getting in the truck but we'll find out soon <sighs> but yeah it's good to be back getting bored at home very bored at home yeah oh, just went on an uneven bit of path there there's an ever so slight dip in the road just here and my ankle just went on it and just twisted a little bit. <sighs> we're good. Once we're in the truck we're driving we're fine. I don't need my left leg. <laughs> don't need my left leg to operate the truck. Now I don't know where my truck is. Don't know if anyone's been driving it. I haven't got a clue so I'm gonna go find my truck. That's the first step. Is that it there? Yeah that's it. I see it. So it's actually where I left it. So I don't think anyone's driven it. We'll do some daily checks, make sure the trailer's hitched up, and then we'll, uh, we'll crack on. But it looks good. Oh, we've got some timbers on the front. They weren't there when I last left it. Here she is then, just doing some daily checks now, make sure everything's all okay, and then we can crack on. Let's go do some checks. Okay, checks are complete. We're gonna jump in the truck now. And uh, I'm going to crack on to our first collection of the day, which will be in Tetbury. I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, we have made it to Tetbury. I'm just putting on my shoes. My comment about not wearing shoes whilst driving caused, caused a little bit of... Uh, I don't know, what's the word? <laughs> Criticism, maybe. I don't know. Look, it's up to you, isn't it? There's no rule that says you can't drive barefoot. It says it may not be advised and you could potentially be done for driving without due care, but you need to be involved in an accident to be firstly accused of that. And if there is no accident, then you're obviously driving with due care and attention. So anyway, we're in Tetbury. Let's go get our paperwork. We're going to a place called Windlesham. I don't know where in Windlesham we're going. I had a quick look last night and I think it's a place I've been to before and I think it'll all be pallets which is good so let's go get paperwork and get loaded find out where we're going and what we're loading with but I suspect it's going to be uh I suspect it's going to be pallets right paperwork received uh and yeah we're going to exactly where I thought we were going to go we're going to Krokos and uh 24 pallets so it is exactly what I thought it was going to be been there before nice and easy and um yeah, we're going to go on in now and get loaded. I want to move those bearers on the front of the trailer. They either need to be stacked up on the headboard or on the back of the trailer, I think. I think I'm moving, I think I'm going to move them to the back of the trailer. We'll go on in and then we'll do that. Okay, so we are currently getting loaded. I've moved these timbers to the back. I don't think I'm going to need them at all, to be honest, but they're, they're on the back anyway. I'll crisscross them. I made it at wide angle, slightly easier. So, secured on the back and on the front and uh, they ain't going anywhere 
Right, let's go and strap up. Okay, fully loaded. We've got 24 pallets on. Most of them are the short pallets. So we're not gonna be overweight at all. Also, worth pointing out that I cleaned my truck Friday last week. Obviously I've been off all week. Come back today. It was clean this morning when I started. Now look at it. That's just coming down to Tetbury. <laughs> the roads in here are just, uh, well, it's a mud bath, no word for it. Right, let's go get our paperwork and then we can make our way to uh, to Windles Windlesham, whatever it's called. I will uh, I'll see you in a bit. I've got really wet gloves as well, so I need to dry them out. <laughs> see you in a bit. Uh, that rain has just started coming down as well, so that's not good. Let's go and get ourselves weighed, make sure we're not overweight. I mean, obviously I'm overweight. Right, so, just got ourselves weighed. We weigh 37,460 kilograms. So, basically, pretty much 37 and a half ton. We can weigh up to 44 ton. Ugh. Lovely. I've not actually put anything into the sat-nav yet. I just want to get over here, get off the weigh bridge, and then I'll... Uh, I'll put into the sat-nav and off we go, but I'm gonna see you when we get closer to Windlesham, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are not too far away now. We're a couple of miles away, five minutes, just around the corner. Just thought I would start putting the cameras on now, ready. I've also found out we've got a very easy day today and it's gonna be a short video as well, so I do apologize, but um, after we've done this delivery, all we've got to do is go back and get reloaded for tomorrow. So nice, easy, chilled day, which is good because I just need to take it easy on my ankle, that's all. Yeah. Like I said, it's fine to drive because my left ankle um, isn't actually doing anything. It's just sat there. It just aches a bit, that's all. Uh, all the driving is done with my right foot, which is uninjured. And I can get in and out of the cab quite fine. So it just... A little bit of pain. I'm on. I'm taking a couple of painkillers, but it's okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. Enough about the ankle. We are just around the corner from where we need to be. Get these 24 pallets off, and then we can go from there. I've also found out that those bearers on my trailer turns out weren't supposed to be on my trailer. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of wind recently, hasn't there? Last couple of days, and um, apparently my boss is. <laughs> My boss's fence fallen over, so it's new fence posts for his fence. And uh, he must have picked them up on this trailer and uh, left them on there, <laughs> forgot to take them off. So I've obviously come into work thinking, ah, oh, someone's got me some bearers. <laughs> but they're actually, actually the boss's um, uh, fence posts, so I need to put them back. I was gonna drop them off on the way here because I did find out on the M4 between junction 16 and 15, which is West Swindon and Swindon that they were the boss's fence posts and it would have only taken me maybe 15 20 minutes tops to divert off drop them off and go back on the road again but uh the boss said that it doesn't matter leave them on the trailer for now because i've got to go back and get reloaded and then uh then i'll be back to the yard anyway so i can drop them off then so no rush to get them back no particular rush to go back and get loaded either because like i said we're done then once we get loaded um i think it was two drops i think you mentioned hails me i'm not sure so I'll probably do a different video for that because it'd be a bit more of a busier day rather than including the two days in one. So yes, anyway, this place we're going to, I have been here before, been here quite a few times actually, and there is, I think there's one video <laughs> where they use like this really tiny forklift, green, looks like a mini tractor in a way, and um, they used it to unload from one side and had the boom out, and obviously the pallet was heavy, heavy enough that um, as he lifted it up, the front, the front end dipped and back wheels come off the ground. And uh, I do believe actually someone who works here saw that video and commented on my, uh, on my, on, well, on the video. So I'm hoping I've not uh, upset anyone. Um, do apologize if I have. And uh, yeah, no, if that is you, if you're watching this, you probably know where I am now. And you probably know I'm going to your place, Crocos. Cross, is it Crocus? Crocus. Co.uk, something like that. Got to go down. Got to take a left in a minute down Nursery Court. 
go down a lane and then uh, there's like a little loading area on the right hand side normally unless it's all changed it might have changed i've been here for about half a year also big shout out to my new tiktok creator um his name is jamie and basically he goes around um clipping all my old content and putting it on tiktok the tiktok for me and uh, yeah getting me some views on the old tiktok getting the old followers up it's a massive shout out to jamie if you are watching and uh thanks mate appreciate it i now employ someone to create social media content for me <laughs> nah, yeah that's pretty cool never thought i'd uh, do that but i am paying someone to edit my existing content and re-upload it to a different platform right are we going left here no it's the next left i've gone a bit too early here we are technically on the wrong side of the road but there's nothing coming this is the one we want crocus Down we go. Down we go. Right, so I don't think anyone's getting offloaded from. If that is that it, I can't remember. Someone over there's getting unloaded, but I'm pretty sure we get unloaded over here on the right. But there's stuff there, so I don't know whether that's still the case. Let's get a bit closer, we might be able to find out. It's like in the car park. And there's that little tractor digger thing I was talking about. It's one of them that unloads me. I guess it's still here. It does still say lorry turning area. And it was the area that I've tipped in the past, so... I think I am going to go there. Yeah, we're just going to plonk it over here. I'm pretty sure they take it somewhere else. It's not actually tipped here, as in dropped. I don't think they unload it and dump it here. I think they unload it and take it somewhere, I think, if I remember rightly, but never mind. We'll just wait here. we we'll take our straps off and um, hopefully someone will come over to us and start un unloading us, basically. Let's put this IVIS on. There was a honk, but it's not a me. Anyway, let's get these straps off. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, maneuvering, and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right. Ah, we need to open up all this. I've got to open up that, open up that. This truck is minging already. We need this. Put this over here.
yeah, they're just taking them off and putting them over here. So he's not going very far with them, which is good. It means it won't take quite as long. But like I said, we're not actually in a rush today, so. Yeah, you are bad. Having a good one. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. Yeah, you've done a video here before. And so, um, I just had someone come over to me and said, uh, you can make YouTube videos, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he remembered the video that I made where the forklift went up on his back end. Oh, yeah, the back end come up. Anyway, he remembered it. Because, yeah, someone showed me the video. I was like, oh, because I'm sorry. Hopefully, I didn't get anyone in trouble. But he seemed cool about it. He seemed cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, we cracked, cracked on. And then, seriously, as soon as he did that, uh, the forklift went up again. <laughs> so, yeah, heavy. Anyway, we're getting our pallets coming off. Um, I'm probably just going to leave them where they are. There's no point in moving them forward just to move them back again. They haven't budged. They'll be fine now. Like I said, I've crisscrossed it. So they ain't going anywhere. It's crisscrossed like, on the top. Protected on the front and back. So that's good. Um, and we're getting them dropped off. That's the boss's new fence posts. <laughs> anyway. I'm done. What with this being a flatbed? It's all unstrapped, all good to go. I could just go sit in the truck now and chill, but... Ah, my ankle. Um, just want to stretch my ankle a bit, do I mean? <laughs> um, so I just leant over then on the side and I just got up and I put, put weight on it. Um, yeah, just twist my ankle, get it moving a bit. I think I've got a very slow air leak coming from one of these airlines. So yeah, from here back to Tetbury, get reloaded. I think he said it was two drops, somewhere at Halesmere, somewhere else in Halesmere. Um, so it could be bolt bags, so we'll be getting the net out later, I expect, more than likely. All right, three more left to come off, so we're gonna go dump in the truck now, get the engine on, ready to go, and then we can uh, crack on when he toots his horn. Right, we're done on that side. One more left to come off, engine on. There we go. Do I say engine off or engine on? I can't remember. Anyway, one more left to go. Let's put our destination in to the sat nav. I think that's it. I'm going to get a, a tooty, a tooth on the old horn. Thumbs up. All done. Thank you, mate. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mid lift axle up. So, you might not know, trucks have a mid lift axle, which is raisable. Some trucks have a tag axle, which is on the back end. Six. Basically, if you look at the side of the truck, there's, there's three wheels. And on this truck, the middle one lifts up. Um, you've got to press a button to lift it up. And when you're empty, you lift it up because it doesn't need to be down, which then saves on wear and tear. But when you're loaded, you have it down because it's an additional axle, and you need that additional axle to carry the additional weight. So, we didn't there. Now you do. <laughs> and I'm sure if my TikTok editor gets to this video, he's working his way from quite far back. But if he does get to this video, he might include that in, uh, in a TikTok. So, thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it. Right, let's make our way down uh, this lane, get to the end of the road. And we're going to take a right hand turn. Yeah, I very nearly went into the wrong turn in the night back there. Might take a while to get out of here. Three cars coming from the left. Can I make that? Salante window up. So yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna make our way back now towards Tetbury. So I spoke to my boss on the phone earlier and he said it was back to Tetbury. I've not actually got a reference number open yet, so I may receive a phone call to say it's all changed. But for now, I am indeed heading back to Tetbury and I will probably see you on the approach. See you in a bit. 
Right, we're at Tetbury on the way bridge. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, just got a wolf whistled by my colleague. <laughs> uh, we're on the way bridge. Let's go and uh, grab our paperwork. Right, we are being loaded. We've got four pallets on. That one and that one, and the same one on the other side. And then we've got, I think it's 20 bolt bags going on. That's for the first drop. Well, technically the second drop is going on first. And then we've got 25 bolt bags for the first drop, which is going on last. So we've done as much as we can do for now. Uh, we've got to jump up on the trailer and put the net on in a second. These ones here will be double stacked. Um, but I'll wait until they've done a few and then uh, I'll jump on up. So there's my colleague. He's got the red flatbed that I normally have. Another colleague over there. <laughs> there's his truck behind. We're all here. Okay, we are on top of the bed of the trailer. We're just slowly putting the net on as and when the bags are being put on. It does take a bit of time to do this, but you know, it needs to be done so that the uh, the topsoil doesn't go all over the road, that the wind will take it out of the bag. Right, we are fully loaded now. The net is on and done up. I'm just putting some straps on. I will show you the load once I've done all this. Ugh. Tidy up the uh, the old strap. So yeah, this is going to be going to uh, Halesmere and Egham. I think we're going to Egham first, actually, and then um, Halesmere from there. But it's going to be a job for tomorrow. And you'll see in a minute. But we've got 45 bolt bags on and four pallets. So. Almost a full load. Well, you could argue it is a full load. We'll find out how much we weigh when we go on the weigh bridge. This is something I actually got asked on one of my most recent TikTok videos. They said, surely you got to get weighed before you strap up. A lot of places you strap up before you weigh because you don't move around on site with an unsecure load. Okay, here we are. 45 bags, four pallets. Let's, uh, let's go and get weighed. Right, we're just waiting to, waiting to get onto the Way Bridge. We have a JK transport truck in front of us, so have them. <laughs> he's just been sat on the Way Bridge for a while. He just got told to go get his paperwork, but now he needs to move because he's in my way. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to take a photo of the place I'm going to. Anyway, so we're going to crack on back to the yard now, get these timbers off at the back, which are actually um, for fence posts. And uh, then we're done for the day. We're actually going to be finished quite early, because it's only, it's only 20 past two now. Um, I need to put the first one in. I don't think... Mm, touch and go wherever we would even make the first one by four o'clock otherwise we could just crack on today but I don't think we'll make it and then we need someone to park up so just go in the morning the boss said go back to the yard anyway so back to the yard and then we'll crack on in the morning start early maybe 5am something like that uh, get there for seven o'clock that'll be uh that'll be the aim let's get on out of uh, get on out of Tedbury head back to the yard Anything coming on the right? There is. So the locals don't like the trucks coming down here, so if any vehicles are coming from the right, I do tend to give way to them. Just in case they are a local. And then they, <laughs> they haven't got to get stuck behind me. Which then will annoy them even more, wouldn't it? Not. Anyway, off to the yard we go. I'll probably see you when we get back there. And, um... Yeah, see you in a bit. Right, just about to enter the yard. Yeah, it is an early finish, isn't it? Three o'clock, well, ten past three nearly. Um, Sat now says if we went straight to the first drop, it'd be there at 20 to five. So yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't get near 20 to five, so. So back to the yard, we will deliver it in the morning. By the way, that noise, if you've been watching my channel for a while, when I first got this truck, I didn't know what that noise was. I do now know what it is. I sort of whittled it down. So every time I enter an area which is unsuitable for ATVs or a weight limit or something like that, uh, there's a built-in sat-nav 
in the truck itself and that beeping is from that sat nav saying um, that it's a weight limited road or unsuitable or whatever we'll it's mostly uh, weight limited roads is what it normally is um, so yeah the sat nav thinks this is a weight limited road so that's why it does it um, so yeah that's what it is <laughs> uh, it does it again as I come out normally that road it, th it thinks it's a weight limit it isn't but it, the sat nav thinks it is and that's why it does the beeping so, it took me ages to figure that out, but I did eventually figure that out. We've got to drop these timbers off. The boss said he wants them in the unit, but I just had a quick look and the unit looks shut. So we're going to have to go around and open it all up, which is fine, not a problem. We'll park up and then, um, yeah, we'll go around, open the unit, go on in, see what people that need signing. Whack off the timbers and then we'll, uh, we'll go out the back way back to the car that is what we will do there is room for me so that's good oh no is there room is there a space in between there is space in between we've got a howard 10 inch truck parked in one of our spaces and uh looks like he's quite far over as well there's anyone in there or not. It might not fit in, it's going to be a bit snug. Fit, but he's got his back end for some reason his back end is well over into our side of the bay should be able to undo the uh the straps from the back no one in there that'll do we're in the parking space anyway straighten the wheels up um yeah right let's go get these timbers off So let's walk on round and let ourselves in. All right, there you go, boss. Timber is there. All right, let's get this shutter closed again. Bye bye, world. That's Kieran's trailer that he's using. Mine's in there. Better get my phone back in. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, that's it. Timber's been put away, truck's been parked, we're on break, and uh, yeah, we're gonna head home now. So we're gonna walk back to the car. I'll say bye to you in the car. Nice early finish today, in the daylight as well. Lovely. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, quite nice actually, to be honest, because obviously my ankle hurts, so nice to uh, not have to do too much, getting up and down on the trailer and rest it a bit, put some ice on it tonight and uh, go again tomorrow. Right, see you in the car. I'm actually home now. So I am gonna say bye to you now. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologize, it has been a slightly short video today. I was hoping to actually do a little bit more, but actually quite happy it turned out how it did. Um, maybe a busy day tomorrow, so I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow as well. So keep an eye out for that one. That's gonna go to Halesmere and Egham. Don't know where I'm going from there. Probably like Tilbury Docks or something, I don't know. We will see. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my second channel, More Luke C. I'm actually about to go in the house now, in the house, I should say, and do a recording, opening up a uh, mystery box, uh, drive crate Formula One mystery box. I've got like a monthly subscription. So if you want to see what's inside that, or you just want to check out what I've got on my channel, check out the second one, it's called More Luke C. Link is in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you soon, bye-bye.